Hi, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the Win Your Worth podcast show because I love what I do. I really enjoy teaching on how to get better fees, and I really enjoy challenging people's mindsets because everything that I teach uh, is a mindset, and today is a bit of an eye-opener. I'm going to be teaching you seven keys or seven ways, seven strategies, whatever, to be able to charge $99 for a routine inspection. Now, why did I pick 99? Well, it's a it's a figure that most people are not charging. They're either charging nothing or some stupid amounts like $11 or 30 bucks or $50 or even, you know, $70 or whatever. So I just want to um, really show you how you can charge something as low as $99 as an example. You go, down. that's high. No, it's low. It's terribly low. And listening to this podcast episode, you are going to see why. Now, firstly, I'm going to be spending 12 months going through how to show you how to get an extra $500 to $1,000 a year per property per year, again, extra. And that's for new business. And, and I'll be doing that through my academy, the Win Your Worth Academy. And it's part of our membership. So go to IGT membership.com that's igtmembership.com and uh at the recording of uh, this podcast it's going to be a couple of months away but it's something i'm going to be doing over a 12 month period you'll be able to jump on it anytime do 12 months and you'll get the full teaching there in fact it's my teaching that i'm giving at the win your worth workshop that's coming up on the gold coast uh but it's the same teaching i'll be spreading it with my group classes as part of the membership. So you just go to igtmembership.com, Win Your Worth Academy. All righty, moving on. So uh, firstly, charging a routine inspection fee. Now, a lot of people don't charge because they their mindset, and particularly on the East Coast of Australia, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, and even in New Zealand, uh, and a lot of agents in the United States. Now, South Australia, a third of agents do charge something, even though it's stupidly like, it, you know, $11, $33 or something, or just something that doesn't even cover the fuel cost. Um, and uh, can I just say, people, 20 years ago, I was charging $30, $33. Um, a lot has happened in 20 years. Uh, expenses have gone up. If you're still charging stupid rates like that, you've got to question why. All righty, look, moving on. Um, what's the management fee for? A lot of people have a problem with this because they think, well, the routine inspection fee somehow should be part of the management fee. Well, my question to you then, if that's the case, that the routine inspection in your mind should be part of the management fee, well, why are you charging a leasing fee or a letting fee? Good question, right? Why are you charging a marketing fee? Good question, right? Why are you charging a monthly admin fee or what other fee that you're charging? Why aren't you rolling those all into the management fee? Now, right now you're saying, well, Darren, I'm charging those other things because we do this, we do that, we should be. And you've got a strong conviction around those other things that you're charging. Well, the routine inspection is just another fee, all righty? It's no different. It's just a mindset that says there's no rule book anywhere that says what the management fee should cover. And look, my opinion is when push comes to shove, we could actually say the management fee is for rent collection because debt collection agencies charge anywhere up to 30% to collect debts, up to 30% people, and you're charging six, seven, eight percent and so it is a form of debt collection to make sure the tenant's paying the rent on time, every time, all the systems that you have in place, all the training that you've got, all the training around serving forms and evictions and all of that, it requires skill and infrastructure and systems and procedure. You're worth your fee, even if you're just charging it for rent collection, your management fee, all righty? So let's just get a right mindset here. Your management fee isn't supposed to cover everything. But just be careful what your mindset says, because what you believe is true becomes true for you. My job is to change how you think. All righty. Now, moving on, um, there's, there's some laws that I'm going to talk about today. You'll actually find them in my book, The PM Fee Scripts Secrets. All righty. Now, just go to the pmfeescriptsecrets.com or even easier, same, same destination, go to stopdiscountingfees.com. Now, the book's already being paid for, all you've got to do is pay for shipping, all righty? So I've made it really easy for you to get your hands on it. No, I'm not going to give you shipping for free as well, because if you've 
paid nothing, um, then you run the risk of treating it with no value. It might just sit on the shelf when you get it because people that got something of no value treat it with no value, all righty? So yes, there's still a buy-in. You still got to pay for shipping. That's your investment into yourself. All righty, now, the law of the lid, understand the law of the lid or the law of the fee lid, I call it in my book. Um, it's really simple to understand that if I say to you, you should be charging $99 for a routine inspection, you say, no, I can't, Darren, or what's the management fee for? Well, that's your mindset telling you what your truth is. And you're not getting that fee because you've convinced yourself of a strong reason why. That's your lid. You see, once we deal with that, then we can start charging it. But your fee lid determines what your fees are. Because if I say, well, you know, you could be getting better fees in your market. I'll get, but Darren, I'll call them the big butts, but Darren, um, there's too many cheap agents in the market. I couldn't do that. Or, but Darren, if I increase my fees, my owners wouldn't sign up with me. They'll go, some, go, go somewhere else or go to a cheaper agent. So there's a but, a big but in your mind that says, no, I can't do that because... That's the fee lid. And so therefore, to get better fees, we have to change our mindset. Otherwise, it's locked in place. And here's my point. If you felt that you could get better fees, you would be. But what you're charging now is because of your fee lid, your mindset, your strong reasons why you believe that you can't. All righty. Um, good principle. All righty. Now, understand is the, the add-on fees. So when I say add-on fees, I'm talking about the fees that other than uh, management fee. And is it market or mindset? Now, particularly the routine inspection fee, what we're talking about today, it's very much a mindset. In other words, if you believe you can do it, you will. Yes, you. You'll be able to go out and start charging a quality routine inspection fee tomorrow, even today. It's a mindset issue. It's not the owners say that you can't or you think just because all my competitors don't charge it, don't let the your rival dictate what you can do and what you can't do. You be the leader. Don't think that they're the leader. You actually think that you're the best agent in the market. Why do you think that they should lead on fees? You lead on fees, all righty? Now, when I, whenever I've charged a routine inspection fee, particularly when I was a property manager in the Riverland of South Australia over 20 years ago, I was one of probably two agents out of 10 that charged the routine inspection fee. It was never questioned. All righty. Now, when during the global financial crisis or what the Americans call the Great Recession 2009, yes, I did go work part time with an agency in Port Adelaide, in Adelaide of South Australia, um, we were charging a $66 routine inspection fee and all of our rivals in that part of Adelaide charged nothing. It was never questioned. The owners never questioned it. Why? Because when they signed up with us, they wanted us. They wanted a quality property manager. And once they wanted us, they didn't care about the other stuff. All righty. Now, um, and this is a, the story. Whenever I work with agencies of Australia, New Zealand, of the United States, it, it, they always get, Darren, you can't charge it. Or none of our rivals, it's just normal. But once we do the mindset change, we change their fee lid, we lift up the lid, and then suddenly, wow, they're actually charging this fee very, very easily. Here's a couple of examples. So I was dealing with an agency in Tasmania teaching them how to get better fees with new clients as well as current clients. And their BDM that they had, their person that was assigned to just sign up new business, he had been in the in the real estate industry for 20 years. He's never ever seen a routine inspection ever charged in his time. Now, I believe he was involved in sales before that as well, but he was very, very adamant it can't be done. He had such a problem with me suggesting you can charge a routine inspection fee. And he was so determined that it couldn't be done in his mind, he actually resigned. And the team leader immediately put on the hat of BDM because they didn't have a BDM anymore, he left and went and started up with a competitor or whatever, um, well, she, the next 40 or so properties, guess what she did? 40, four zero. She signed up the routine inspection fee. All righty, so is it market forces that say you can't? Our owners, no, it's mindset, all righty? Now, I'm dealing with three BDMs uh, with one company at the moment, and they are typically in a market where nobody charges a routine inspection fee. In fact, very few do in that whole city. I'm not going to tell you, but it's one of the cities of Sydney, Melbourne, or Brisbane. 
Uh, typically, non-routine inspection charging cities are very much against it because they've got the mindset there and what's the management fee for? Um, and uh, this particular agency, the three BDMs, a lot of them have done many, many sign-ups of new properties where they've never charged that fee. They really struggle with the thought of charging it. However, they were open to change. We did some mindset training. At the end of that, all the properties that were signing up, and they were doing quite a number, probably you know, 10 to 15 each a month, I think, or even 10 properties a month each, um, we were getting a 60% strike rate. Two particular BDMs were signing it up fine. One was struggling. And the reasons why was owners won't pay. Owners won't pay. Well, no, I know it's a mindset issue, not a market issue. So I called up the boss and said, look, if we look at this fee that this BDM is not signing up, they're, you know, very typically um, over five years. And you know, if they're missing out on two inspections a year, that's X dollars. And over five years, well, that's actually, you know, huge money. We could actually spend less on the one fee, let's say one property, we've missed out a routine inspection fee charging just on one property. In this particular case, it will cost the company for every new property they sign up without the routine inspection, it's well over $1,000 over the five years, okay? The five years they may have the property for before the owner moves back in or they the owner sells the property. You get where I'm coming from. It was a major financial loss of over $1,000 for every property signed up where the BDM didn't get the routine inspection fee. And I said, um, to the boss, it's going to cost me less to jump on a plane and come and do some retraining with this BDM. So I did. I flew in. I did some training with the sales team on their commissions as well, um, and uh, and we you know we we got some great results there. But with the BDM, um, we did the retraining. We did the re mindset training, and then he and he started getting them. No problem. No one was questioning because. The law of the fee lid in his mind got changed. Now we're getting a 98% strike rate, getting every property except maybe 2% of them over the line with a routine inspection fee where before, right at the start, they all told me can't be done, won't be done, Darren, our rivals don't charge this fee. So remember, it's a mindset fee, not a market fee. All right, the market fee is a management fee. All right, so if we suddenly came in, said we're going to charge 20% management fee, well, the market forces are very likely, in my mind, I think it's going to hit you because it's subject to market forces. The other fees, mindset forces. Okay, moving on. Now, one last agency I was working with in Toowoomba. There's a swarm of cheap agents up there. Oh, my goodness me. Huge amount of agents in that town. Nobody charges a routine inspection fee. So one agency I was working with, immediately they started charging a quality routine inspection fee and they get it every time. No one actually questions it. Why? Because they're not, the owners don't care about the fees. They want the agency. And so the fees become a secondary issue. All righty. Remember, it's a mindset issue, not a market issue. All right, moving on now. Understand the law of the better fee. It's very, very simple. That if you believe you are worth it with conviction, just like before I said, okay, if you feel that the routine inspection fee needs to be part of the management fee, well, what about the letting fee? What about the lease renewal fee? What about the marketing fee? What about your monthly admin or whatever? And in your mind, you're going, well, Darren, we charge that separately because you're actually going through the strong conviction in your mind. Well, we, yeah, we do charge those other things separately. We wouldn't dream of putting that in the management fee. Well, just like the routine inspection fee, if you believe you're worth it, you've got strong conviction about it, you just now need to justify it. And so you just got to have a reasonable response ready should someone question it, should someone question it, all right? Because you're not going to get questioned that often. Now, I'll be giving you a script shortly, so hang around for that. But the script you will find in my book, the PM Fee Script Secrets, all right? PM Fee Script Secrets, just go to stopdiscountingfees.com because if you leave an S out in any one of those URLs, you're probably not going to get it. But pmfeescriptsecrets.com or go to stopdiscountingfees.com. I paid for the book. You've just got to pay for shipping. And I've got over 50 scripts in there ready for you, all righty? Okay, now understand the law of the main game. Another law that I speak about in my book. It's very easy to understand. Two owners at a barbecue, they're talking about fees. One guy says, well, who's managing your property? Well, I'm with ABC Real Estate. Oh my goodness, I'm with XYZ Realty. Well, what are you getting charged? Well, I'm getting charged 8%. The other guy says, I'm getting charged 7%. But they didn't talk about any other fees, did they? Because those other fees are overlooked, unimportant, not focused upon. Remember, it's the management fee 
that is in their mind. They are the market. The owners are the market. What they think is the market, all right? And they really focused on the management fees. So the other stuff is a lot easier to charge if you want to do some add-ons, all right? This is why it works. Now, um, question to you, how long does a routine inspection take? All right, well, let's look at that. And immediately you're thinking, well, Darren, it might take 15 minutes or it might take 20 minutes. No, that's just part of the routine inspection showing up at the property. You've got what's booking time, then drive time, doing the inspection, then doing the work generated, you know, all those extra tasks and extra repairs because you showed your face up at the property. And then what about getting the report ready and sent to the owner? Oh, of course, Darren. Yes, it's about an hour of your time, right? It's maybe a little bit more. But it's an hour. What are you worth per hour? So what are you actually worth per hour? Your agency, not you, your agency. You represent your agency. What's your agency worth per hour? And typically when I'm in seminars and I say, okay, put up your hand. What are you worth? And people say, well, I'm worth $60 an hour. The agency's worth $80 an hour. And oh, my goodness me. So my point is, you know, how much did your cleaner charge per hour? Well, there might be, you know, $40, $60, depending on where you're located. But your lawnmower man might be the same. The handyman, he might be that $50 to $70 an hour. Your electrician and plumber, more than that. What about the geek that comes in and fixes your computer? You go, oh, my goodness, Darren, an arm and a leg. Yeah, probably $150, $200 an hour. What about the company accountant? $300 plus an hour. Lawyers, $500 plus an hour. Now, here is my point. If you get out your calculator and how many properties are in your portfolio. Let's say, all right, Darren, I've got 100 properties in the portfolio or in the red roll. All right, so how? what's those properties worth on the open market to sell? Well, Darren, um, they would probably be seven hundred dollars or $800,000 to sell on the open market. All right, so let's say it's 700000 Well, 100 properties times 700000 um, My head tells me that's $70 million. $70 million, people, of other people's assets. So you don't price yourself the same as a cleaner or the garden, or the gardener or the lawnmower man or the electrician, the handyman. Getting my point, you're in a very difficult job. Lots of risk that you carry. Legislative compliance, oh, my goodness me. Do not lowball yourself. So when I suggest that not only can you charge a routine inspection fee, but you should be charging at least $99 for an hour of your work. Who's going to argue with you? You see, it's your head that argues with you, but not your clients. Because when you send them a bill of $150 invoice or $130 to change a leaky tap or a leaky faucet from your plumber, they attended the property 15 minutes and just changed the washer and you get a bill of 150, 130, you don't question it. Your owners don't question it. So why would they charge why would they question your charge of, for example, $99 for a routine inspection or the $99 smoke alarm check? All righty. People, what you think owners think about this fee is completely different from what your owners think. All righty. So don't let your mindset stop you and get in the way. All righty. The next thing I want to talk about is a law of alternate cost in justifying your fee should you get questions. So, for example, um, the law of alternate cost is what would a service cost if they had to go and get the service alternatively? All right. So, for example, um, just to give you an idea, I had a, a, a small accident in my vehicle. The passenger side mirror on my vehicle got damaged, all right, which means it wrote the whole car off. And had, in other words, what I mean, it was defected. I couldn't drive it because if the police saw me with the smashed mirror, they'll be pulling me over and giving me a defect notice and a big penalty. I don't want that. So the car's now off the road until we get it fixed. Someone said, call a wrecker. It's nice and cheap there. Call it up a wrecker. And I heard him tap in. Okay, it's a current shape, tighter Corolla, blah, 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 blah. Yep, yep, we've got the side mirror. It's going to cost you $660. What? That's That's like robbery. $660? Oh my goodness me. Just for a secondhand part off a wrecked car? Oh my goodness. Now, that was expensive. I was shocked. Then I called Toyota and said, how much is it going to cost to get a new one put on the car? And they said $1,350. Now, the initial $660, the shock of it, well, that was looking expensive until I got the alternative cost of $1,350 and now 
in light of the alternate cost, that first charge of 660 now looks cheap in comparison. All righty, you've got to have the comparison there. So when it comes to your owner saying, well, $99 for a routine inspection or whatever, well, Mr. Smith, it's actually cheap compared to the alternative that if we don't do routine inspections, oh my goodness me, all sorts of bad things can happen to you and you can run into costing hundreds up to thousands of dollars. Let me tell you a story. All righty, have a, have a horror story around it. So um, now if the owner says, well, the other agent, um, they... Uh, they don't charge at all. Well, now we go into the script using the law of alternate costs, all righty, to express um, the, the value of our fee because if we don't use the law of alternate costs and don't express the alternate cost, now we're at risk of our, uh, our fee looking expensive. We want to make it look cheap. We do that using the law of alternate costs. So here is a script. If an owner says, well, the other agents don't charge and no one charges for this fee. Listen to this. Now, this script is in my book, the PM Fee Script Secrets. Just go to the book and it's in there under justifying a routine inspection fee. I've got scripts in justifying lease renewals and monthly admins and letting fees and how to justify repairs and maintenance fee. But this script is for routines. Okay, Mr. Smith. Yes, um, we do commonly have uh, owners come to us they initially thought going to a cheaper agent was a better idea, but they got themselves into trouble and they've come to us to manage their property because they're upset usually about the condition of the property. And generally, if it's the condition of the property they're upset about, guess what? We always find the routine inspection is directly or indirectly connected to the financial loss that they've had of hundreds, if not thousands of dollars of damage or issue or whatever they got. Because what we found is that the routine inspection wasn't done regularly enough, wasn't done thoroughly enough, or it wasn't done at all. And that's what happens with agents who don't charge for it. Because if they don't charge for it, they're not valuing it. And therefore, we run them a much bigger risk of these issues related to property condition because the monitoring isn't done. Mr. Smith, it can cost you thousands of dollars. You only have to give a couple of stories here. Using the law of alternate costs, suddenly there's $99 in their mind. They're now realizing it's so cheap and I would not want to go with an agent that charges routine inspections for free, all righty? You see how that we just simply need to have a good response. We simply need to have tall shoulders being confident and having a good response. And suddenly it's not an issue to them anymore because you've explained to them why. All righty. So some really good things there. Now, uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to, um, to Tappy as well, who is one of our sponsors. If you haven't heard of Tappy, that's T-A-P-I, I want you to check it out. Um, it's a complete game changer. And it's certainly when it comes to... Um, maintenance, particularly out of routine inspection or any maintenance that you do, you want to be able to easily and efficiently be able to get your maintenance done, particularly out of routine inspections. Oh my goodness, because things, as you know, your workload can really substantially increase after you've done a batch of routine inspections. But I want you to check out this specialist maintenance program, which is far better than your property management software, whose maintenance section doesn't specialize as good as this. And I want you to check it out. Just go to Tappy, T A P I dot com dot au or for our kiwis go to tappy dot co dot nz but please when i saw it uh, i was blown away and i just wish back in my day we had access to this but go and check it out i know that you will be pleasantly surprised and blown away just like i was so guys um, a few key things there that are going to help you if you want help in getting better fees um, with new business with current business of course We've got the, um, we do have the academy coming up, which will take you the new business end on getting better fees and new business. But if you want to go deeper, I invite you to chat to me about coaching. Um, and this is particularly around getting better fees with current clients. All righty. So go to getbetterfees.com. That will put you straight into my diary. And I'm happy to have a chat. Well, Big episode today, how to charge $99 for a routine inspection. There's a lot that we've covered there. I did a whole hour webinar on this the other day. So that was a real brief summary there. But I'm hoping right now your mindset and your thinking towards charging a routine inspection fee, or at least charging a lot more, is a lot more advanced than what it was at the start of this episode. And that's what I teach is the when you're worth 
mindset, all righty? And so you get it through this podcast. You'll learn about that because you never earn what you're worth, but only what you believe that you're worth, all right? It's only what you believe. We've got to change what you believe. We've got to elevate what you believe. And that's what you get out of my book, the PMP Script Secrets. Just drop my pen on the floor. PMP Script Secrets. Just go to stopdiscountingfees.com. Pay for shipping. And of course, we've got the Win Your Worth Academy coming up. Details, igtmembership.com. But take care, everyone. Really, really enjoyed um, sharing this with you. And I know your mindset is going to get impacted. Take care.